All right, hey VC, I'm Jamie. Welcome back, and we're back with another video and continuing on my CD box set collection. And I had a good response to the first series of the CD box sets uh, that I presented, so I thought I'd continue on. Uh, so this one I'm going to look at uh, what is, I guess I can only describe as sort of the original long box format. I know I called the last series a long box, but it was kind of long box slash long book format. Uh, but this is the style that came out predominantly in the 90s, where you have the, the CD box box and then inside is the CDs in jewel cases uh, and with the booklet and everything like that. So I don't know uh, another uh, way to describe this one. So I'm going to simply call this the original long box format uh, for this series of videos on my CD collection. Okay, so uh, let's get right to it. Uh, how about uh, Steve Miller Band? And this is something called simply called Box Set. I don't know if you can see that there, but uh, creatively titled uh, CD Box Set. Uh, this was on Capital from 1994. And this is simply a three CD box set. Now it's amazing for Steve Miller Band, you could have easily done a four or five CD box set. But uh, often in the 90s, they were fairly conservative for uh, CD box set issues, only going sometimes two, three, or four CD box set. Not always, but sometimes they were fairly conservative uh, with how much material they put out. Unlike today, where you get eight. 10, 20 disc sets and more. But Steve Miller Band, three CD box set. Again, this is from uh, 1994. And uh, some interesting tracks on the, on the first disc. Uh, Steve Miller grew up in quite a musical household and they often had uh, musicians uh, dropping by. And so there's early recordings of, uh, of, of Steve Miller with Les Paul dropping by, and uh, Steve Miller is five years of age and uh, jamming, playing guitar with Les Paul, and there's snippets of dialogues uh, with Les Paul saying, "Oh, you're going to be a you know promising young guitarist." And so there's that, and then there's a recording of T Bone Walker dropping by Steve Miller's house, and I think Steve Miller is roughly about the age of nine uh, for that recording uh, as well. So what a household when you get people like Les Paul and T Bone Walker dropping by. Incredible. So again, uh, the sort of the traditional style like that, and then inside we've got the booklet. Now it's interesting. I don't know why the booklet's not a little bit longer for this. You know, when you got this space here, but uh, there you go. But it's it's a nice booklet to overall. Uh, certainly nice artwork there, and I won't spend too too much time looking uh, through the uh, booklets, but uh, that kind of gives you an indication. Some nice uh, color. Uh, photos, color artwork there, and then simply the uh, CDs sit inside like this. Now this almost kind of looks like a four CD set, but uh, they have the sort of the raised background, so that makes it look nice and even here. So the first disc is that, and then because there's the booklet with the jewel cases, there's not really any ex anything extensive. It's just the one looks like that. So there's CD one, and then there's CD two. And last but not least, CD3. And inside. Nice guitar. And as I mentioned, it's a three CD set, so they get kind of the raised background, so it's nice. Uh, it's all the CDs sit quite nicely inside. And like that, so they all sit nice and even like that. But a good box set overall, and that was the first uh, Steve Miller Band box set. There's been many more since then, that's for sure. Okay, let's switch gears. How about Marty Robbins, the essential Marty Robbins, 1951 to 1982. This is on Columbia Country Classics, and this came out, I believe, in 1991. Always enjoyed Marty Robbins, such a smooth singer, great country artist that always had that sort of rock and roll leaning, if you will, uh, with his material. Uh, white sport coat and a pink carnation, beautiful song, El Paso, and the track Don't don't Worry, which was one of the first examples of kind of fuzz guitar uh, in a song, the track uh, Don't Worry. So this is simply a two CD set. Uh, Columbia Country Classics, they released a few uh, in this format, but most of them were simply in just a uh, traditional two CD uh, jewel case sets. But this is a nice uh, presentation. Again, that just opens up like that. And then the booklet inside. The booklet's not too extensive, pretty thin overall. Great picture of Marty Robbins there. But some nice black and white photos and memorabilia and whatnot. So not too, too bad. And then the CDs simply sit inside like this, but to not too creative with the uh, CD 
in terms of it's the same photo for both discs and then just the track listings on the back and then uh, simply like that. Okay, so Marty Robbins, Columbia Country Classics. Okay, we'll switch gears again. How about uh, Tommy Dorsey and Frank Sinatra, The Song Is You, five compact disc of box set. Uh, this was put up by RCA in 1994, and this is really Frank Sinatra on the scene. Uh, Frank Sinatra, the lead singer of the Tommy Dorsey uh, band, Tommy Dorsey Orchestra, when often the lead singer wasn't the star, they were just part of the orchestra, but in Frank's case, he was proving so popular that he eclipsed the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra and then became a star. So this is Frank Sinatra in his very early days, the crooner, uh, the nice young youthful voice, and uh, five CD box set, a great, a great overview. Uh, again, uh, through the 90s when they were really re-examining the uh, Frank Sinatra collection and uh, getting, a, getting a lot of this uh, music out on compact disc for the first time, especially some recordings like from the 1940s that weren't heard in a long time. So it's a very nice uh, treatment for this uh, box set. And then booklets inside and the CDs sit there like that a really thick nice uh, nice booklet uh, for this excellent photos essays on Frank Sinatra and and this is pretty much described as the complete studio masters complete recordings and the last disc is uh, uh, on the air so it's a uh, radio recordings with uh, Frank Sinatra and Tommy Dorsey so Lots of great uh, photos inside. So that I believe is disc one, disc two. Great photos there. Love that. There you go. And uh, last but not least, disc five. And this is on the air 1940 to 1942. And there you have it. So yeah, it's a nice, nice box set to overall. Can't go wrong with this one. Early, early recordings of Frank Sinatra with Tommy Dorsey. Okay, I'll just quickly put the one back in. So I'm not spending days reassembling these box sets. Okay, let's switch gears again with uh, Leonard Skinner. And uh, I don't think there's actually a title for this box set. It's simply called Leonard Skinner. And this is, I believe, a three, yeah, three CD box set. Again, for Leonard Skinner, this easily could have been a four or five uh, disc set uh, on MCA. The definitive Leonard Skinner collection, 47 classic recordings, including 16 rarities. Again, uh, you know, you remember when these were coming out, these were the first uh, early box sets for these bands uh, coming out. So this one was from 1991. And uh, there you have what's available on this one. Lots of great stuff. And again, typical opens up like that. And then we have the pretty traditional style booklet inside. And won't spend too, too long on this one. Nice picture there. And Leonard Skinner, such a great band. And then uh, CDs sit inside like that, disc one, two, and three. And there is sort of the, I do like uh, generally the way the CDs sit in these, you know, they're nice, easy to get to. The only thing is sometimes with these plastics, uh, plastic case, sometimes the discs really get kind of wedged in there and sometimes you're really having to put, so that pull them, you know, it's, it's, you're really struggling with them. So that can be the downside uh, of this format. And again, it's a format you don't really see as much uh, anymore for whatever reason. But maybe that's one of the reasons because you, Sometimes I have to really yank those discs out of there. And there you go. And last but not least, disc three. And there you have it. Again, a band that easily could have had more CDs for a box set. 
Okay, there certainly has been a number of box sets on this uh, individual talking about uh, Louis Armstrong, uh, portrait of an artist of the artist as a young man. So these are recordings from 1923 to 1943. So this is on the Columbia uh, legacy, and it was amazing for uh, Columbia. Uh, they, in the 90s, they really did a nice job uh, in terms of uh, repackaging, releasing on CDs, and often for the first time, or that you know, would be really hard to find on vinyl. Uh, some of the really classic stuff, the blues stuff from the 20s and 30s the jazz stuff from the 20s and 30s so this is early uh, Louis Armstrong and as we mentioned for this artist there would be so many box sets uh, to come so this came out on Columbia and then this came out in 1994 so again the, the case is just off like that and then booklet inside with the CDs really nice uh, booklet uh, that's included with uh, complete uh, spotlights on all of the songs. And this also, I hung on to the other box sets that you could get at the time that they would advertise on Columbia. You could send away for more information. But yeah, just a, a really nice overview of early uh, Louis Armstrong. And, and then the CD sit uh, inside like that. And this is a four CD set, so we have just one. There you go. And just a nice uh, replica of the early Columbia labels. And disc two. Just love those Columbia labels. And disc three. On the OK label. And last but not least, disc four. And again on the OK label. OK, so Louis Armstrong, early recordings on Columbia. That is 1923 to 1943. Amazing. Okay, I think we got time for just one more. Let's do uh, Steely Dan. How about uh, Citizen uh, Citizen Steely Dan, 1972 to 1980? And this is a four CD box set that is pretty much uh, the complete uh, Steely Dan, where they uh, include all the tracks from the albums. You get occasional CD box sets, even in the early days, where they were taking all the studio tracks, putting them all together, so they weren't necessarily just an overview. They were more like a complete... sort of package there and this is this came out gosh in 1993 on MCA again you know for for some of the box sets where they were only two or three CD sets but they made the Steely Dam on four CDs but if they were looking to include all the tracks of course uh, Donald Fagan and Walter Becker the uh, booklet's okay um, could have been maybe a little bit better but it's not too too bad and then the uh, four discs uh, inside simply inside like that and great, you know, Steely Dan, such great music, great guitar work. Again, pretty straightforward there. And I think pretty much all the labels look like that. That's disc one, disc two. And yeah, pretty straightforward. <laughs> yeah, I'm always amazed when they would have a CD, take all the trouble to make this, and then you think they'd put a picture or something here. Like, I don't know why they would do that, but ah, yeah, well. But great music with Steely Dan. And there we go. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up uh, for this one. Uh, there will be certainly more to come uh, in this series. Uh, the CD uh, box sets, the original long box format, for lack of a better title. So again, uh, no vinyl for this series, uh, but uh, we'll be back with another one uh, for sure. So take care. Bye-bye.